Mario Cristobal lands his quarterback for 2024 and arguably one of the more exciting quarterbacks in all of college football in Cam Ward, foregoing the NFL draft and coming back to college. What does this mean for the Miami Hurricanes in 2024? We'll talk about it next. All right, before we talk about the Hurricanes, Mario Cristobal, and Cameron Ward, hit that like and subscribe button if you are new to the channel. If you like what we're doing here at Camps to Canton, we are trying to get to 3,000 subs. We appreciate all the love and support you guys have given us. We are not supported by CBS, NBC, ESPN, any of those big-name companies. It's just you guys. We appreciate all the love and support. Cam Ward is an extremely fun player to watch. Transfers up from Washington State from Incarnate Ward just a couple years ago, and we here at Camp Stacanton had some pretty high expectations for the kids. So at Incarnate Ward, passed for 4,650 yards in his final season with a 47 to 10 touchdown interception ratio. His A dot was at like an 8.2 and 9.2, and Incarnate Ward was like not afraid to challenge down the field. We were excited to see what he was going to look like in that air raid offensive of Washington State. Comes in first year in the in in the Pac-12. Wasn't great. It wasn't horrible, but wasn't great. Just passes for 3,228 yards. Does have a 23 to 9 touchdown interception ratio, but takes a step forward. Also had a 64% completion percentage in uh, 2022. Takes a step forward last year, 2023. 3,723 passing yards with a 25 to 7 touchdown to interception ratio. Also increased his completion percentage to 66%. With a, what was it? He jumped up a 7.7 A dot. So he made a massive jump forward on that side of things. And we actually saw him trying to go down the field a little bit more. 11% of his throws were those plus 20 yard throws. It was just 8% the year prior. But what you like to see with those throws as well is that he's actually challenging pretty far past that 20 yard mark. Yet an eight out of 28.8, it throws over 20 yards. So it wasn't like 21 yards, 22. No, he was challenging deeper down the field. 10 to 2 touchdown to interception ratio, just 725 yards, but a 40% completion percentage on those throws. So it was pretty good. Going to Miami, what you can expect from him is a player who's extremely hard to sack. One of the more fun things to watch about Cameron Ward is his ability to avoid players. I, I've said before, I think he's a Houdini in the backfield. He will get four or five defenders around him and find a way to maneuver or make a miss and run around in the backfield before firing that ball down the field. Now, he is much more um, incredible in the short and intermediate area, very much more accurate as well. 76% completion percentage in that zero to nine yards, and then a 65.9% completion percentage in 10 to 19, which is typically where he fires the ball. Now you could argue that's where a lot of quarterbacks throw the ball and you are not wrong, but we see those higher end guys going a little bit deeper than Ward. And hopefully we will get to see that here at Miami. The question is going to be obviously the wide receiver room, which currently is not great. Yeah, Colby Young transferred out to Georgia. Brashard Smith transfers out to SMU. They had the 33rd ranked transfer class. Didn't really bring in anybody, but have some interesting names in-house. Xavier Strepro comes back. Michael Redding comes back. Jacoby George, although was arrested recently, so I'm not sure what his 2024 season will look like. You had last year's freshman, Nathaniel Joseph, and they also had Elijah Arroyo at tight end, who we really liked as like consistently been in our top 10 rankings at the tight end position for Camps to Kent. We're just waiting to see him kind of come on. Running backs could help him a little bit in, in kind of evening out the game, a 50-50 split on run pass, which we'll talk a little bit here about in, in a minute with what Mario Cristobal loves to do as a head coach. Mark Fletcher, who did get injured in the bowl game. They have Javante Citizen, who we loved as a true freshman, came in as an athlete playing the running back position. He's also been beat up for years at the at the position with injuries. Hopefully we'll get to see him. And they flip Jordan Lyle from Ohio State, a really good running back that could be an intriguing fit in that room. They had the sixth-ranked recruiting class overall, bringing in, obviously, Jordan Lyles, I mentioned, but Nykar, the wide receiver 13, Chance Robinson, wide receiver 31 in the class, and then Josiah Trader, who is currently listed as the number three athlete, but going to be playing wide receiver, another guy that, that we like here. So some interesting freshmen to bring in. But it's really going to come down to how does this offense work. So they have Shannon Dawson as their offensive coordinator, Mario Cristobal as head coach. Look, love Mario. Love Mario at, at Oregon. An incredible recruiter, especially on the lines. And that is where Miami could thrive this year. Offensive line, defensive line, they could dominate. But they do not pass a lot in neutral situations. So when Shannon Dawson was at Houston under Dana Horgerson in 2022 and 2021, he passed over 50% of the time and 55% of the time in neutral game script situations and had an offensive success rate of over 4.75, which is really, really good. Last year, Miami, now they did pass at a 51% neutral rate in the or rate and pass early in neutral situations. So it was a little bit higher up there. And 
Maybe it'll go higher with Cam Ward. Obviously, Tyler Van Dyke injured, did not play well. True freshman Emory Williams, I thought looked really good, but also was a true freshman. So I don't know how much you can expect out of him on that. In pass explosiveness and EPA per play, Miami was actually pretty good. So the EPA per play line falls right at about 2.5. Miami last year was at a 0.45. So that's actually pretty good in a pass EPA per play. And their pass explosiveness, the line is at 1.60. They were at 1.65. So just barely crossed that line. That also has to excite you if you're a Miami fan. And the fact that you had quarterbacks who were beat up and just the offense could not get going because of the injuries yet they still cross those thresholds, now bringing in a player like Cameron Ward. He's going to be a lot of fun to watch, and they have a schedule that could, in my opinion, lead them to winning the ACC. They kick off Labor Day weekend against Florida. That's a winnable game. And then you run off a string of games that should be winnable. Florida A&M, Ball State, at USF, at Cal, at Georgia Tech, at Louisville, and then Blue, uh, Duke Blue Devils. Those should be games they should all win. There's a realistic shot that they could be going into Florida State 8-0 with that being a massive game toward who ends up going to the ACC championship because they avoid Clemson, who is likely who they'll play in that championship game. And if they end up going through this schedule, I don't know if they'll go undefeated, but I think they could be favored in every single game this year. If they end up going into that ACC championship game, undefeated and lose to Clemson, I think there's a realistic shot they still make it into the play the 12 team playoff with that one loss and losing just in the championship game. Regardless, adding a player like Cam Ward who can challenge all three levels of the field, he brings a little bit of a rushing threat, but realistically, it's that extending of the play is where he thrives. He can throw off platform, throw out of structure, again, challenge all three levels of the field. While he is much better in the short and intermediate areas of the field, he can challenge deep. If this wide receiver core, if Xavier Strippo can take another step forward and kind of become that guy, maybe we see Nathaniel Joseph, maybe Nye Carr, Chance Robinson, Josiah Trader. Elijah Royal finally has that big year. If any of those guys can really kind of step forward for Cam Ward and Shannon Dawson is able to open it up even a little bit more with a more competent quarterback in Cam Ward, Miami could finally be a very scary team to watch. I mean, again, Mario Cristobal knows how to do it in recruiting. He's nailed it the past couple of years. Now can they put that product together on the field? I think landing Cam Ward is very close to them doing that. Let me know what you guys think, though, in the comments. Can Cam Ward bring Miami back? Will the U be rocking in 2024? And can they make it to the playoffs? Talk to you guys again soon.